My name is Erin Gon. Welcome to my movie about myself. I grew, I was born and grew up in Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, it's extremely hot there. It gets up to 120 in the summer. You learn how to live with it after a while. I went to public high school. I went to Mountain Point High School. Uh, we are known for sports like most places in Arizona. For undergrad, I went to University of San Diego and majored in liberal studies. I also got a teaching credential through there. I got the special education moderate severe credential, which also has English language learner emphasis. I chose to be a teacher because when I was in high school, I did a lot of work with people with special needs. I worked as a respite provider and a habilitation provider, and I actually didn't, I what unlike most people, I didn't grow up thinking I was going to be a teacher. I wanted to be an event planner, and I also got accepted into cosmetology school. After I started thinking about my careers in either event planning or cosmetology, I began to realize that working with special needs might not be a big part of my life after I began these careers and so I had a deep discussion with my grandmother who told me if I was so good at it and I loved it I should make that my life. Uh, this year I'm going to be working at San Miguel Catholic School fourth and fifth grade English language arts only. I'll be teaching both, uh, each grade half of the day language arts because they are English language learners and need an emphasis in language arts. During teacher prep courses, I thought that a lot of it was repetitive. At University of San Diego, there are a lot of classes that crossed with each other and I guess that was both a positive and a negative but there was a lot of crossover and I'm assuming there probably will be in grad school as well. I am also right now I'm taking the introduction to teaching for elementary educators course as well. Uh, my main area of interest is obviously special education. Something that I'm hopeful for in education is a big movement for inclusion. I did a lot of work on inclusion when I was an undergrad and I really see this becoming the new thing. I'm a equal rights activist for those with special needs. Right now there's a lot of inclusion for those with mild to moderate disabilities. I'd like to see more inclusion for students with moderate to severe uh, disabilities. Here's a photo of me during my student teaching with four of my students. I had nine students with moderate severe disabilities um, and these four were also English language learners. And then we have this photo as well. A person that has been burned into my memory is probably uh, my friend Becky. I worked, she did not go to my high school. I worked with her for a number of years. She had um, profound intellectual disabilities. She was nonverbal. She used an electronic communication device to speak and that sparked me, my interest in nonverbal communication and I hope to eventually get a doctoral degree in speech language pathology and emphasize in assistive technology to help those who are nonverbal. My favorite book is The Great Gatsby. I love it. I think it's a classic. I can't wait for the movie to come out this Christmas. I've been hoping they're going to make a remake for a long time, so I'm very excited about the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio that's coming out. My favorite movie is Fight Club. I just think it's a classic as well, and you can watch
watch it over and over again and still find something new every time. And if I could have a superpower, it would be to um, time travel because I think it would be really interesting to see time periods while they're happening rather than going to museums and looking at ancient artifacts, which of course is interesting too. And that is about me.